Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there four days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Hey guys, happy Sunday and grace day number three. I actually convinced Josh to come out from behind the camera this week and give everybody a little recap on everything that's been happening. So, hi everybody, my name is Josh. Thank you guys so much for participating in our devotional and thank you so much for your kind words of encouragement. This week, the devotional has really been ramping up. Jesus healed a blind man, he raised Lazarus from the dead and then the week ended with Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey. I love how that highlights Jesus' character, that he would choose an animal that represents peace and humility to make his entrance on. We hope you keep following next week to see how this story continues. Let me grab Molly. Thanks, guys. So, we also really appreciate how everybody's really stepped up with donating shoes and backpacks. The response there has been amazing. We also just want to throw out there that if anybody has any extra suitcases, like full-size suitcases that you don't want anymore, we will gladly take them. The whole team's just going to be packing suitcases with the backpacks and the shoes, and we would like to take them there and leave them. So if anybody has a, a suitcase they'd like to get rid of, you can either give it to one of the team members, drop it at the missions hub, and just let them know it's for the Romania team, and it'll get where it needs to go. Also, we just thank you so much for your prayer support and all the encouragement again. Uh, if you want to support us financially, you know where our links are, and really just continue to pray for us. It means the world to us. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.